What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ols TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got a couple of stories for you and no questions. So if you have a question, leave it in the comments down below. Hashtag question. We'll answer it in tomorrow's video. Without further ado, let's jump into the tech news. Our first story of the day has to do with a product that I think some of you have, some of you don't. I know I have a couple of these. They are the Samsung Smart Tags that make it easier to find things such as keys or your children um, or a bag or your luggage. And basically what they do is they put a little ping and you can beep these things and find them easier. Or you can look on a map to see where they are and they'll ping off other Galaxy phones, uh, not just your own, and allow you to find them. So what about this? So the newest information coming out is exclusive information coming from Sam Mobile saying that Samsung will launch next generation Galaxy Smart Tags later this year. Now they don't go into depth with what it's going to have some of the things you might think it might have is better range, more features, a louder speaker, better battery life. Those are some things right off the top that you would imagine that it would have. Also on that, when the release date is, it's supposed to be August. So even more products coming out in August and those would be the Samsung Smart Tags. Um, do you guys use these? Let me know in the comments down below. I, I actually, I have them on a couple of keys, but um, I only use them when I lose my keys, so it's not that often. Next up isn't so much a news story, it's more of things you can do to get better battery life or get better battery life in a pinch. Like if you're really getting down to the nitty gritty, here's a few things that you could do to eke more battery life out. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So the first thing you wanna do is swipe down from the top and hit the gear in the very top right. And next you wanna go into connections and then go into mobile networks. And you're gonna see network mode now, 5G does use more battery life than LTE. It might not absolutely kill it, but it might be something you wanna disable. I'll let you know if you're on Verizon, and I believe it's AT&T, or maybe it's just AT&T, you cannot disable 5G, it won't let you, so keep that in mind. But if you can do this, then you might wanna do this to, to get better battery life. So you can see I have 5G LTE, you would just click on LTE, 3G, 2G, and then you would end up just using those LTE and below networks instead of the 5G and below networks, and it will get you get give you a better battery life. I'm just gonna switch mine back because I'm keeping it that way. Ultimately, next thing you'd wanna do is go back to the main screen of settings and go into display and going into light or dark. So if you go light or dark, dark is gonna give you better battery life. With OLED displays, they do a lot better with black screens, dark screens, because they're not having to produce all those pixels on there, so you'll get better battery life. So again, it will be hugely different, probably not, but it is something that you might wanna turn on if you wanna continually get better battery life, is put it on dark. Next, go back to the main settings, go down until you see, where is it? Battery and device care, then tap on battery, and then what you wanna do is you wanna go into, you'll see power saving. This one, I probably wouldn't use this all the time. I'd really only use this if I was really getting, you know, getting down to that last bit and I needed to get some stuff going on here. Uh, or if you just don't really need to use your phone at that point in time and you just wanna really, really bite down and save some battery life. So if you turn on uh, power saving, you can see at the bottom here, if I do save it, it's gonna give me up to two days and 18 hours of battery life. And also it's gonna turn off always on display. It's gonna limit my CPU speeds to 70%. It's gonna increase the bright, decrease the brightness by 10%. And I can even go as far as limiting apps and home screen for maximum power saving. And all you would do is just turn that right on and it instantly takes effect. It's gonna, your phone might feel a little slower. You might not get all your notifications all the time. Stuff like that you might notice. And perf like I said, performance might not feel as snappy. So I would, again, I wouldn't use that all the time, um, but it's something that you could potentially use and get better battery life. The other one is go st a step back, go into battery, and then go into a little bit further down. You're gonna see more battery settings. Tap on that and you'll see performance profile. Tap that. Go to light right there. So if you if you tap on light, it's gonna prioritize battery life and cooling efficiency over processing. And when you do this, it's not a huge um, jump down. Basically, 
the way it performs, instead of performing at that Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 level under the standard profile, it'll actually perform on the light end, which ends up being about an 8 Gen 1 processor, so like last generation's processor, which still performs excellent. And again, you should get some better battery life with it if you go to that light profile. So those are just some quick and easy steps. You could also lower your display brightness. That would help, um, you know, turn that all the way down or lower if you wanted to do that. But those are just some quick and easy things that you can do and turn on and off real quickly without having to remember what you did for the most part is what you can do. Let me know about you. What's some things you do to save battery life in the comments down below. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.